Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. While we're on the subject of lichen and vitamin D and foods that humans ate in the cold dark winter in the north of Europe, let's talk about reindeer. Pretty normal uh, back in Scandinavia to have reindeer meat and it can actually be quite cheap if you get it canned and maybe in some uh, mixed meatballs and things like that but it's actually hard to find in other places in the world. It wasn't always like this though. Reindeer was a much more widespread food source in ancient times. We can go back more than 10,000 years and find these incredible uh, rock paintings which appears to be reindeer hunts. We also find evidence of reindeer uh, hunts in places like the UK and even North North America from 10,000 years ago but of course the world was a lot cooler back then and a lot of these places would be uh, covered with ice. Reindeer today are pretty much only found in the Arctic regions but back in ancient times the Arctic region was a hell of a lot bigger so they were probably hunted for food on a much much wider scale back then. But they are not as ancient in certain parts of the world as you might think. For example, ancient Greek sources mentioned them as being in Scythia, apparently, and being as big as an ox at this time. Ancient Roman sources mention what we think are reindeer in the forests of France and Germany and Central Europe. Reindeer are also deeply ingrained into the Native American folklore, even from places much further south than where reindeer live in North America in the modern day, or caribou as they're called in North America. Even in one Inuit kind of, you know, creation myth, it says that the world did not have any reindeer until a man carved a deep hole into the earth and then reindeer came out and then the earth was covered with them at the very beginnings of the world. Some scholars have even suggested that reindeer is a bigger part of human literature and art than any other animal, but don't know about that, but it definitely could be true. So without a doubt, reindeer in very ancient times roamed a much wider area than they do today, and they were a lot more an important source of food too. Imagine it's winter and nothing else is growing, and animals are hibernating, and you come across a massive herd of ox-sized ancient reindeer. Uh, this would be on par with how important buffalo was to the uh, Native Americans of the Great Plains. You know, in the middle of the winter, not much food around, and you come across some mouth-watering, delicious meat, fur, and even spiritual tools actually that you can make from reindeer in ancient times but at some point humans hunted so many of them that they became extinct in certain areas and you can really today you can really only find them in the north where many of them are kind of domesticated or semi-domesticated so we know reindeer as like a, a Sami or Eskimo or traditional uh, Inuit food or something like that um, but if we go back far enough in time humans would have been eating reindeer in their diet so I do try to eat reindeer as much as I can it's a super Super delicious and nutritious meat. It's just a bit hard to find um, unless you're in Scandinavia or Siberia or northern Canada. It's pretty difficult to find these in a regular grocery store but definitely recommend it if it is accessible to you.